Let's talk about grit. Did you know some of my students have corpus callosum issues? But it doesn't matter because they still have grit anyways. Like they say, grit happens. Hey, I know it sounds crazy because you're so used to hearing that if you make enough approaches, like 10,000 approaches in total, you automatically get laid. If you made 100 approaches a day, but I can tell you that's complete fucking nonsense. I'm going to share with you four concepts of grit so you can see how insane this numbers game concept of doing 10,000 approaches, which will not get you laid, especially during the pandemic. I am John Elite. I'm the world's best day game coach. I have 500 laid po testimonials right now. And by the time this video is going to be released, I'm sure I'm going to have way more. So what are the four stages of grit? Number one, it is called growth mindset. Number two, it is resilience. Number three, it is called instincts. And number four, it is called tenacity. So that way you can be more coachable and get laid during my day game system and you know that it is anti-grit if you use their day game systems because they don't have that many day game lay testimonials for their products if any for most of the dating coaches out there and i know what you're thinking that oh because you're spam approaching you have enough grit because you're going out there and doing mass volume and spam approaching but that is not true at all. And I can show you how to get laid using real resilience, not half resilience. And I'll show you how you can get laid during this pandemic, despite the variants. Since my day game system has worked for every lockdown, lockdown one, lockdown two, lockdown three, the Delta variant and the Omicron variant or Omnicunts. So for grit, the very first letter, G, it stands for growth mindsets. The big idea is if you got a fixed mindset, you are screwed. And by reasoning, by analogy, it means, oh, mystery said this, or RSD said that, or Justin Wayne said this, or London Day Game said that, or self-proclaimed high lay count guy said this. Who gives a flying fuck what they think? And this is important because I reason by first principles, the evolutionary psychology of day game. So what I say will not sound the same as what they have preached. So that's why you dismiss it because it sounds different. Even though more than 12 naturals have mentored me, you're actually learning the real game, the real natural game. And not all naturals go direct, by the way. The second stage of grit is resilience. Resilience is important because it keeps you moving forward with resilience. But the real problem with PUA zombies is that they have half resilience just enough mental energy to spam approach is not even high functioning like my students who practice in front of the mirror to rehearse and to correct themselves at the same time the way you're doing it is completely half-assed it is lazy it is stupid it is completely autistic and you're building bad habits by doing it your way with half resilience and you will not build good neural pathways because you're reinforcing bad habits. And after 21 days of you daily spam approaching, you're not going to be able to change it at all. You got to be stuck with these bad neural pathways. It takes 21 days to develop a new habit. And since you're going to be doing that, you're going to be reinforcing bad habits because you don't get to self correct in front of a mirror to practice you're just going to be spam approaching out there unable to see how you look like in relations to the women your outer game and your social calibrations is super bad 
like a creepy, arsty victim who's going to go in a downward spiral when he's half-assing it. The third stage of grit is called instincts. So the more late testimonials that somebody has, it is the correct instincts. I mean, a lot of these guys have this worthless opinion. By worthless opinion, I mean they actually have less than six day game laid po testimonials. If that were even humanly fucking possible. But seriously, guys like Todd V, self-proclaimed high leg count guys, and others actually only have three. So it doesn't fucking matter how good their opinions as facts sound. Because it's not going to lead to you getting laid in day game. You can waste all your fucking time and money worshipping because you're stupid and you love it when they spin your wheels as they laugh all the way to the bank. And the fourth stage, the final stage, is called tenacity. For tenacity, you have to finish the fight. You have to get that lay. And the only way that's going to happen is if you're doing all the first three steps correctly. You need to have a growth mindset in order to learn what I have to teach you, even though you're not worshipping me. You need to have good resilience, not half resilience by fucking spam approaching. You need to have a good instinct. By instinct, I mean doing it the best way, the John Elite way. That's backed by 500 lay po testimonials, while theirs barely even have 6 lay testimonials for day game, especially during the pandemic. I know what you're thinking. Oh, John, it's all a numbers game. It's all about validation. It's all about compliments. It's all about funnels. It's all about romance or whatever bullshit. Well, the tricky thing here is that my students are getting laid nonstop. So you can only dismiss it because you have turned from an Asian carp into an Asian monk. You no longer want to get laid. You just want to self amuse. You just want to meditate. You want to mentally masturbate. You want to take massive action now because you know you're not going to get laid with their stuff. I mean, mass approaching, going direct, their products are not going to work for you for day game. Then they'll funnel you into a boot camp, which is exactly what they had planned all in mind because it makes a lot more money. Stop wasting the time with all these long treatments. Focus on the cure, and the cure is Elite 30, from Hard Case to Hero. See you in the next video.